A very good morning to all the students and assalamu alaikum. I hope you are enjoying back home and let's get started with today's topic and that is HTML5, right? So building professional and responsive web applications using HTML5. So in the series of classes, uh, we will be learning uh, the new features of HTML5. So it's better not to touch hex html so we'll be starting with html5 and then slowly and steadily we will see how to make them responsive and uh, how to attach css new version 3 and how to use javascript to create responsive and yet effective websites right and to get started uh, the prerequisite is nothing you should have a notepad and plus you should have an updated browser so let's get started without wasting much of your time right and what is html html is hypertext markup language so before html5 we never used to do any programming with html but yeah since html5 has introduced some programming features and now we can even uh, learn some of the programming in html5 right uh, so it is going to be a real fun working with html5 and creating good and uh, effective websites right using html5 so and then uh, we are going to style and design and style up different things right a design is something uh, that you create for example you create a home and then you go inside and you decorate a home you create colors and every single thing so that is going to be handled in css3 the styling part is going to be handled by the css right and uh, HTML being uh, the only language that our browser understands, right? Uh, so I don't have to tell you about the familiarity and the famous uh, HTML5, right? Uh, because HTML5 was just introduced, right? So with new features, but XHTML has, uh, you know, it's the king of web, known as king of web, right? So let's get started. And to get started, what we need to do is create a new folder, right? inside your desktop right so now what i need to do is uh, create two more folders inside in here so one is imgs uh, stands for image so th this is uh, this is the folder where we will keep all the images. and second folder is going to be styles so this is where we are going to keep all the style sheets right including css and every single thing okay Okay, fine. So this is how the structure of the website may look like. So let's open Notepad. Okay. So now Notepad is in front of you. Let's click Save As. Now the thing that you have to be very, very aware of and, and you'll have to consider it. All right. So let's first rename our folder that we have just created. I call this as HTML web site. So I call my folder as HTML uh, website. So now what I'll do, I'll go to my HTML website and save this file as all files. First select all files here because uh, you don't want to save your HTML file as text file, right? So first you have to select all files and now when you select all files, I call this as home dot html so now this is supposed to be my uh, first html5 right and uh, let us open the website uh, using google chrome i'll double click and open it using google chrome and i'll just separate it from the rest of my tabs oh my god i have too many tabs open right so after separating it from my tabs this is how your initial page may look like right uh, though it uh, does not have anything as that of HTML, so we are going to add it, right? So let's do it like this, right? So this is my browser where I will display all the design that I do here inside this file and the design is going to be displayed in the browser, right? So what are the features and what are the th what is the theoretical we are going to learn in the concurrent classes alongside practical. So it's better to learn theoretical uh, with practical so that we can define each and every tag that we are uh, making and or it's, it's better to document them as well. You know, there are comments in programming and there are comments in HTML as well where we can uh, document. And uh, the first thing about HTML5 is that it starts with so let me correct the font which is quite a bit okay i'll just reduce it to some extent 
okay i feel 18 is going to be good so it starts with not sign and doc type html and it does not require any documentation at all here uh, you know uh, unlike H x html the version before html5 right uh, it requires some good amount of documentation and char set integration so it does not require here right and we know that uh, an html document starts with html and an html document ends with html tag right so this is telling the browser hey my browser this is where i start and this is where i end right why do you tell your browser about the start and end because these are known as tags we call them as tags html tags right so why do you tell your browser where to start and where to end right for example i have to include a javascript file for that we have a different tag how does the browser know which one is meant to be executed and which one is meant to be imported just by tags and this specific area now we are defining here right so this is a specific area we are defining and this area is meant for nothing but only html right so we'll be doing all the html here right so that's why you have to define boundaries of your html page right and one of the specific features uh, uh, that was added in uh, you know uh, html5 was as that of the uh, culture right so we can have a web page with different languages or we can tell the browser to uh, translate it or we can ask google translator to translate it in different languages but since i'm speaking english and we are more fond of English, so I'll say lang is equal to en. And this is also uh, the, uh, you know, copyright feature of HTML5, or we can say it's the trademark feature of HTML5, this HTML lang is equal to en, without even documenting it much, right? And as we know, an HTML document has two things. It has a head tag, and as I said, anything that opens gets closed, and it has a body tag right so it is better if we indent right indentation is quite important here all right uh, so now everything will be indented now this is the start of my html tag this is the end of my html tag this is the start of head and this is the end of head start body and body all right and uh, <laughs> And there are a few things that we'll have to take care of defining an uh, HTML document. So this is head and inside head there is title. Right, so title is something that is going to help you in uh, recognizing the page. It will be displayed here, right, in the title bar of the browser. And uh, when you learn search engine optimization, there are many things that we do uh, in title tag so that uh, our website is found. Uh, using Google search right so I will name this as for example HTML5 website so now as soon as I give title if I refresh the page you can see HTML5 website is displayed up in the title bar so this is point number one and point number two is now I can add the char set this is for cross browser compatibilities I want to use meta char set is equivalent to utf-8 and this is also mandatory and it's a self-closing tag so we have two type of tags you know uh, one is uh, the separate closing tag and another is the self-closing tag right right uh, so what is the definition of a char set right char set encoder is used to represent uh, you know uh, the the HTML characters by some kind of encoding system depending on the abstraction level and the context corresponding uh, code points and resulting uh, code spaces may regard as bit patterns you know that our browser our computer uh, not our browser the computer and 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 the communication that happens across the internet it does not happen like we see here right it's it's encoded uh, and encrypted at times uh, this is encoding this is not encryption all right it's encoded communication that takes place and now you are telling your browser that how are you going to uh, relate or how are you going to uh, you know do the ascii uh, you can say character set uh, you know encoding right well, because now ASCII was the first character uh, you already know that ASCII was the first character encoding standard wasn't it 
ASCII was the first uh, character set and then ANSI and ISO 8859 came and they had some limited versions and in HTML4, uh, HTML4 has UTF-8 Unicode, we call this as a Unicode, converts almost all of the characters and symbols in the world, right? So it has a dictionary of converting characters and symbols. So it is just uh, character set conversion method that you are using. You can use ANSI, but that has limitations. You can use ASCII that has limitations. So after HTML4, after XHTML, before HTML5 also, uh, the char set UTF-8 was quite familiar and they say it has almost all the symbol conversions in the world, right? So that's why we are using the most updated char set so that whatever we may write here is basically converted to a right thing. For example, if I write here, uh, for example, if I write and gt right right and if i write here and lt and i write here hello now you can see this here like and gt is converted uh, to the greater than sign and and lt is converted to the less than sign right so this is how it basically works uh, the character encoder right uh, okay i hope it's understood if anything that is not understood, please let me know in the comment section so that I am in a better position to explain what is happening and what is not. The second thing that I want to show you regarding styling. Now, still though it's not the best way of styling application, so I can create style tags and I can create style tags like um, this. So I will say style dot okay um, now let us call body now since we know that body is there so i can mention style type is equal to text slash css now what am i doing here i am telling my browser hey wait a second right do not treat this section right do not treat this section as html and do not uh, you know execute it right since uh, I, I'll, I'll show you I can call the body you can see the body tag is here so I can say body right B O D Y body and this is where this is where I start styling the body and this is where I end styling the body and I can say right background right dash color is equal to red for example if I want my background color to be red now you can see it has turned red right and uh, or I can say gray save the file refresh the page now you can see it has turned gray right so you have to understand it that if I take this style tag away right if I take these style tags away okay and yet execute it now you can see this section is treated as HTML text and instead of executing it and for for styling purposes what the browser does browser has actually taken it as plain text and printed it over the browser right so it has printed directly over the browser so uh, echoing it over the browser because uh, it is inside uh, you know an HTML head tag right right so uh, basically what we have to do we have to stop the browser hey browser do not take this section as html take this section as a text slash css cascading style sheets i repeat cascading style sheets right so take this section from here to here as cascading style sheets and it is not the professional way of styling an application because unless we don't see what is not professional how can we know what is professional so to know what is professional we also have to see what people do uh, which is absolutely not professional at all right so let me refresh it again and now you can see uh, that uh, it has executed it rather than printing it and now this part of the code has been executed right so now if you are if i'm telling you that this is not the professional way of executing an application you may say hey then what's the professional way i'll say wait a second let me show you the professional way of executing these applications and for that i may require to open another notepad 
Now you have to open two instances of Notepad. Right click here and say run as administrator. Now we have not one but dual uh, or two uh, Notepad instances. One is for HTML and another is for something that you are not aware of. So I will save this file. We already made this folder right here. Can you see this? Styles folder is already there. So I'll go to all files and mark this as I name this as default.css. Name can be anything, so but I'm naming it as default.css. Please do not forget to mention all files here, right? So uh, if you do not mention all files here, so you're going to have some problem. You'll bore, you know, because it, it then the file, if there is no extension, right? Uh, if there is no extension, how will uh, basically you be able to execute the file? Uh, now, what is the extension used for? What is extension used for? Extension is an information right for the browser so that you can tell your browser about the specific application that is used for executing and opening the specific kind of a file for example we have mp3 now your browser knows or uh, sorry now your computer knows which application is meant to play mp3 files if it's doc now your uh, operating system knows uh, you know the file which is meant to execute and open doc or doc x excel uh, PPT for PowerPoint, point, TXT for Notepad and uh, all the extensions. So extension is an information regarding the behavior and regarding the type of the file and it is basically an uh, uh, you know information for the browser, for the server, right? So that which application will be used. So now that is why uh, specifying and selecting a proper extension. Now if, if I say text document now you can see style has not been saved as text document style has been saved as you can see here the type is cascading style sheets right it's a cascading style sheet document and if i go what is my home home is basically a chrome okay okay so it's not getting expanded okay it is html document right so that is because of the extension that the operating system was able to judge and display the type of the file okay is that done so now what we have to do we have to create a separate file for styling and separate for file for designing both are linked to ui user interface and we are developing the presentation logic of the website and the rest will be done with uh, the programming and scripting language like php jsp and every single thing else right so since we are doing it here and uh, we have to now create a specific and to 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 different documents so now to create a different document well i do i will say style right so I will create style tag. No, does not require style tags here. Why? Why doesn't it require style tags? Only because of the fact that now the extension of the file defines the type of the file. You have already, you know, you can see the file already has an extension CSS. So it's a cascading style sheet. No need to go for tags. I will directly go and type body, right? And say background dash color is equal to gray so now it does not require is equal to it requires this mark and this is the closing why do we require closing and opening uh, you know braces right here why do we use curly braces we use curly braces so that now I can call some other section here right then I can call some other section I don't have to uh, specifically design and style only one section but a web application and a website can contain many sections right but once it contains many sections so you'll have to target each and every section individually right so now we are I'm targeting only one section which is body color gray mm -hmm. now will this work just a moment let me save both the files and is this going to work no it's not going to work because since I have been able to create two files, one is a default.css file, another is home.html file. But have I created any link or any connection between these two files? No. <coughs> Sorry, so we have not created any link or any connection between these files and the reason being, uh, right, that we just separated logic. We were doing CSS here, you can see. And we just separated it. We said it's a, it's not a professional way of handling 
cascading style sheets or it's not not the professional way of styling a web application or a website or a web page so we separated right uh, it's called separation of concern so the concern of our html document is to design uh, using sections and div so here the concern of this application is only to style now we have to create a link between these two files and for that you know this is the head section and the head section is used to import files uh, right uh, do meta tagging so now what is this meta i'll also tell you and it's not used for uh, creating sections and designing the web application for that for section designing and complete designing of the website we have to do that in the body section and this is more for operations uh, which are behind the scenes right uh, behind the scenes such as um, we now have to create a link so for that i will say link i have to create link between default.css and uh, the the html page right here so i will say link relative and what is this uh, relative link it means that what is the type of link we are creating and what is the relation of the link that you are creating i'll say the link is of uh, you know uh, it's a relative link of style sheet right so link is a relative style sheet and i will say and this style sheet has a type of which is text slash css it's not important you can skip this part because the style sheet already defines it so no need to do this so i'll say link a relative type is style sheet and href hyperlink reference for this is and it's also a self closing tag and i will call now where is the file right so where is the file the file you can go to is inside uh you know styles folder right so root is html website the main folder is html website and inside html website you can see there are two folders img and styles right so styles being uh, my first folder uh, for styling right so i'll have to mention the folder name and then the file name right so i'll say styles and what is the file name d e f a u l t dot c s so now we'll have to see whether the link was successful or not no the link is not successful a link relative is equal to style sheet and uh, href is equal to style slash default so let me check again d e f a d e o k spelling mistake here so i'll just correct the spelling mistake it is d e f a u l t dot c s s right and i'll select all files and save it as default dot c s s right so now we'll see whether the link is successful yeah we have been successfully able to link now because you are um, starting with html5 you are going to face many problems in the near future since you are not aware and familiar of the code that we are writing here right and for that purpose what you got to do is you can click and view the page source and click uh, the style/default.css file now if you are able to display that means the link is successful i repeat to verify go to right click your document go to page source and click the style sheet so this is this is how you can verify whether the file has been linked or not right so this is the first link that we have created and the link has been successful and now what is meta right meta stands for i'll document it for you here so how do you document html document we document it like this right and we can say hello i can see this it is not going to come because it is documented if i show you the page source you can see green color it is documented all right so documentations are going to be ignored so meta means information about a certain information so meta means information of information so now what is information of information now what is website hmm or what is a web application please tell me what is a website or what is a web application web application is nothing but information it can be an information about this particular business that is being kept online 
everything has an information even if you go to facebook facebook has information what is the information your friend has updated some status update right has updated a status information your friend's friend has liked the page information so once you have information and now who is going to take information about the information that means this entire page is information right or wrong yes since the entire page here is information right where are you going to store the information about this information right so this meta tag uh, you know defines the information about this information for example uh, for example if you want to do SEO of your website tomorrow search engine optimization that's a separate topic in digital marketing but yeah we use quite quite a bit of meta tags here right so I'll say meta name is equal to keywords right and I will say content is equal to this content so for example content is equal to best training institution right so i want whenever type whenever someone searches for uh, these things or whenever someone types these keywords using google or any other search engine i want my website to be displayed and for that i use meta now what is meta here so ignore this you're not going to learn this as this is not your topic but yeah just to give you information about information so what is meta meta keywords is keeping the information about the entire web page here that whenever ty someone types best training institution uh, i have to display this web, web page right so that means this meta will contain all the information about the particular website or a particular website so if 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 you get a question or someone asks you what is uh, you know meta so you, you answer that it is uh, a tag or a meta is a tag which contains information about information or it's it contains information about a web page in our case we are using web page and html5 so meta contains information about our web page right here so is that understood or misunderstood i hope you are understanding right uh, so if you are not understanding you have any problems you can ask me down in the comment section or you can ask me directly by privately messaging them me or, or whatever ways you find feasible in clarifying and clearing your doubts uh, would be highly appreciated right so since we have been able to create the initial structure of the website and we have been able to link uh, the style sheet uh, with the website so now we have to operate with two different files here one for styling that is coloring defining the boundaries of the website and each and every single thing and second is uh, that we have been able to create an html5 document now what is the trademark for an html5 document number one it has only doc type html and no other definitions right so html tag has the culture defined right the language defined it can be en it can be any other language whatever country you are in you know and uh, then we have learned that in html5 trademark is three things one that we define the meta chart set as utf8 in the meta tag not in the language here uh, not in the html tag here and the doc type does not take any documentation and these three signs mean they are html uh, the page is about HTML5, right? And because we have to start, we don't want to design unprofessional applications. We are going to follow certain standards of application. And what is the standard for developing application, uh, like uh, content of the application or content of the website, right? Uh, designing uh, standards of the website or all six designing patterns uh, of the website have been clearly, clearly defined by Microsoft those guidelines i'll show you those guidelines so it's very important to know everything from the scratch right it's very important to know the role of each and every tag that we have defined right what is this html this is telling your browser that the certain thing everything that comes in between will be html if in case anything that is not html will be you know uh, you can say intercepted by a specific tag like we are doing here right in this page attach a style sheet right and uh, then uh, this head tag head tag is more of uh, more meant for operations rather than designing the things right it's meant for importing just like we have imported this style sheet maybe we may import a javascript page tomorrow right so it's more meant for operations behind the scenes rather than designing so all the designing will go inside this body section like we'll start our first design so when in html5 we do not use divs to start so that is the best feature of html5 right so we start directly with normal english tags 
So we have this header tag. This header means, uh, you know, if I develop a website or if I design a website, a website may have something like this. Okay, let's carry on and see what your website may have. Your map website may have a header, right? So this is for that. And, 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 for example, this is the header. And your website may have a menu bar or... or or, or menu bar or navigation we call that as navigation right and your website may have a nice footer right your website may have a footer right and uh, let me show you and uh, this is the main content section and inside the content uh, you may have right maybe a sidebar here and another sidebar here right so this is how you will go ahead with this so this is a header section of your website right so let me document it for you so this can be the header section of the website as simple as anything and here uh, this can be the footer section for your website okay right and uh, this can be the menu or the navigation right a section of your website and this can be the sidebar one right and this can be the it depends sidebar two so it depends on what you're going to do and yeah plus you'll tell me yeah i want to learn uh, you know uh, responsive web application design so we are good at only that Right, so that's what I've done my rest of my life developing and designing responsive application, which fits in automatically, right? So responsive web application is something that fits in automatically. So let me close it down for you, right? So this is sidebar one and this can be your sidebar two. Is that understood now? Now that is what this header is not the head section. This header, right? So this is where we are going to create uh, you know uh, the head section of the website which is this right here so for example I will have h1 tag here h1 is header one tag so I may say welcome to HTML5 web designing so welcome to HTML5 web designing and I can go and refresh so welcome to HTML5 web designing so for a second what i will do is just keep, keep the background color as white so that we can understand okay welcome to html5 web designing so this will be treated uh, by my website or, or by the browser as the header right so now since every browser is html5 enabled so you need not to worry about uh, different things and what comes after header we said there is navigation for navigation we earlier used to have div divs so we do not use divs uh, more frequently now for navigation we have a specific tag known as nav right so this is specifically developed and designed by the html team for keeping navigation so for example if i keep it um, i go for an unordered list if you are aware of unordered list right and i can close an unordered list right so ul unordered list can has can have list items for example home okay let me copy this to three okay let me have three home s-t-u-d-e-n-t-s -E students classes right so this is unordered list an unordered list can have a uh, list items right so when once I go ahead and refresh this you can see this unordered list comes uh, right here right so we can have ordered list to change unordered list to ordered list you can just type ol and ol so now you can see that the ordered list 
right unordered list has been changed to ordered list unordered means it's it does not define the order like one two three four five six seven eight right so that is ordered list ol a uh, ul is unordered list it will just have just like your uh, word microsoft word ordered and unordered right so it's, it's similar to unordered and ordered how do you make ordered and unordered list in html5 uh, in html that is ul means unordered l means list open and close since the list can have items that is the list item one list item two it can have as many items as you want right so the second section is done if i go back to my paint all right the second section is done and now we have some more sections right here right and let's carry on with this section right here okay so the section is going to be section so I'll create another, okay, not inside the navigation. So navigation is a separate deal, right? So let me have this here. So I will open section and I will close this section div right here so now what is this section? So this section defines a particular container, right? It section defines a particular container uh, where we have to keep data in right so we can keep anything in this section right right it is basically um, uh, you know a container which can handle or which can have data inside it right so section is purely HTML5 replacement for div navigation is purely HTML5 right and header is purely HTML5 and what are these tags these tags define they define the features of the website now your browser should know that this is the section <coughs> because nowadays we, we don't do not only create websites we create websites that are visible a single website which is uh, completely visible and readable in human readable format in professional format not only from your desktop not only from your laptop from the tablet from mobile from smartphone uh, right doesn't matter what resolution uh, you basically uh, open the website in right so it should automatically adjust as per the resolution right so, so for that html5 has been upgraded and they have added some special uh, you know very special features so that uh, you end up uh, you know developing professional and responsive web applications like a pro and for that we have to define sections now this is the first section because header is already there navigation is there now we have section which a section can have many sidebars many sections uh, and many divs right uh, so for that uh, let me have it here right section and after the section i can have footer i don't have to define divs for footer i can directly go for footer tag so now this is my footer tag right here and this entire thing here will be a single section and this section can 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 have many other sections in the website right so what is the section it, it's nothing but a container which contains all the elements of html and whatever you keep inside it now we have footer due uh, let me call this cop my copyright 5 html learning technologies and copyright c is and copy so if i write and copy and terminate it so it is going to be something like this copyright c so we get this copyright logo now you tell me sir how is it possible how were we possibly able to create and uh, you know translate and copy to uh, this C and that is that is where the magic lies with UTF-8 right so ANSI maybe if I say ANSI uh, maybe ANSI has uh, also this so ASCII ASCII will because it's a basic tag so it's also going to be with ASCII that how uh, you have understood uh, the deep meaning of character set we call this a char set right and here is where your uh, photo may go and this is and you'll say you're not positioning it like i positioned using msp and that is the difference between you doing drawing 
<coughs> and developing and designing applications so there's a huge difference all right so defining a tag has nothing to do with as that of positioning the tag positioning has nothing to do with the this, uh, def definitions right definitions are different and positioning is completely different so there is good amount of difference between positioning and and uh, uh, defining so we are still learning definitions positioning is going to follow after we learn definition is going to follow uh, that as well right so we have uh, we are running out of the time so i'll catch you in the next class practice this and uh, work hard and let me know if you're having any questions so far i'll give you the rough overview uh, the specific features of html5 it starts with the html uh, doc type html not this is the sign exclamatory mark doc type html uh, and it ends with html and starts with html and specifically if you're using html5 you have to define this en culture it's for the culture and second you have to define a meta char set right so that is going to be your uh, character encoding right and uh, right then we have to create a css file link the css file give it a title create the header right create the navigation create the section and create the footer and in the next and the following lectures we will see how to position them right and it requires good amount of practice so that you are familiar with all the code and all the markup code once you are familiar you are not going to become familiar by just watching the videos and and attending the classes so so familiarity and and anything like that requires good amount of practice so i wish you all the best do practice and let me know